Concern is mounting in Carmel Valley. Coyotes are invading. They're invading backyards. Pets are going missing. And look at the surveillance video. Basically, the coyotes are able to make it through very small fences, even fences, Ariel, that are supposed to be coyote proof. That's a major problem for neighbors in that area. 10 News reporter Travis Rice has the lengths that some of them are going to keep these coyotes out. But no one ever, I think, in their wildest dreams. It seems like this just about every night. Believe they could squeeze through. And at dawn, that have neighbors scratching their heads. Born and raised in Zimbabwe. For this South African turned San Diegan, it's always been an issue in these hills. I've seen more wildlife here in San Diego than all my years growing up in Africa. Joel Dorfin is used to bugs eating his figs, but not coyotes. When I first mentioned they were coming through the bars, no one believed me. They said, no ways can a coyote fit between those three and three quarter inch bars. But this is bigger than fruit, Dorfin says. Neighbors have reported small pets going missing and they're worried how comfortable the coyotes are intruding. And the concern now is uh, the fact that they're coming into yards, maybe that scare factor is not there anymore. And uh, taking dogs is one thing, they're worried now maybe their kids may be threatened. Dorfin's working on humane ways of keeping them out of backyards, including small motion activated lights. A lot of people who need jerking and wanting town halls about the coyote problem. Uh, I'm not sure what they're hoping to achieve. He just hopes they can find a natural solution. They are here and until, unless you start uh, um, preventing them from breeding, um, they're going to continue breeding and this is the question of learning how to live with each other. In Carmel Valley. And if they touch my avocados, I'm not going to be a happy camper. Travis Rice, 10 News.